We watched last night yes. the package yeah. so trailer that we reviewed. Yeah, a couple weeks ago we watched a trailer for a Netflix yeah. movie called The Package that I brought to the table <laughs> really quickly before because I think we yeah. were kind of light on stories. I'm like, oh, well, okay, this guy cuts his dick off. This sounds like this is going to be kind of funny. <laughs> Netflix original movie. I actually completely forgot how soon it was yeah, coming out. Yeah, me too. I think I yeah. remember, like it wasn't until I got a notification I'm like, Oh shit! That's right. Yeah. That was coming out in August. Okay, I mean, theoretically, we could have watched this Thursday I mean, at, fucking, at midnight. And Disenchantment's but... already up there too. No, a Disenchantment. Yeah, Seventeen. Are you sure? Okay, Positive. I get it. All right. Seventeen. All right. You I got, got you. I got the email. About you got it, a so notification okay. email. Okay. It's for a trailer coming soon. All that got stuff. it. So okay. yeah, I was really like, oh yeah, okay, cool. So yeah. I'm like, oh, well, I'm watching that tonight. Yep. I watched. End up watching it too last night. Yeah. As did I. Yeah. All right. So I will go first. So right. in my opinion, the package. Delivered. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. Man. All right. That's it for... So, that, that's my review. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. Like, for, for, for me, we watched that trailer. We were all like, man, like, that. this looks pretty good. And for me, the movie delivered what I wanted and kind of more. Like, I don't know. Like, I really, enjoy, I really fucking enjoyed that movie. I might even go out and say... I wasn't sure if I was going to say this, but I might actually say this right now because... It's not that big of a fucking statement because I don't think I've seen many of this type of movie in theaters anyway, but like, this might be the best comedy I've seen this year. Because <laughs> I don't think I've seen a straight comedy in theaters anyways, but yeah. man. Do you, you didn't see Blockers? No, I saw Blockers. Yeah, I saw, saw blockers. blockers. Okay. I think I like this better than Blockers, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be uh, honest with you, okay, to be yeah. brutally honest yeah, with yeah, you. Because yeah. Rick and I were both, we liked Blockers, but we were yeah, uh, like that. We were there, yeah. 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 But yeah, I hear you. I really enjoyed the package, so I'll wait and hear you. You guys both seem like you're optimistic about it, but I don't know. I really like that movie. The first thing I'm going to say is that, listen, Netflix, I understand that you don't necessarily have to adhere to the MPAA rating system, <laughs> but this is not a fucking TVMA movie. <laughs> this is a fucking hard R feature. Yeah. Fix your rating system. <laughs> NC-17. I because I was kind of like, when that popped up, I was like, oh, TVMA? Like, how are you going to do that with somebody cutting their dick off? And then two seconds in, you're like, oh, shit, this is not, okay. They just don't <laughs> understand ratings. They don't understand the rating yeah. system. Uh, that's the only, that's the first thing. I mean, they kind of don't even have to abide by it. No, but they put you, that They put their rating system in there just for uh, they need, viewers. They, they need to come up with a better one then. Yeah. They, the only reason they have a rating system is for their parental controls. I understand that. And, like, so I guess anything TVMA is going to be, quote, R. rated R. Yeah. But they really need to figure out a better rating system for Netflix. <laughs> I mean, a, really lot, a lot of their shows, I, I can't say I've paid attention to the, to the ratings and stuff, but even Orange is the New Black, I don't, I'm don't. i guessing that must be TVMA or yeah. some of these other originals because uh, Altered Carbon is another one. Like, they're straight up, like, almost porno sex scenes in some of these shows, so... There was fucking porno well, no, sex I know, scene but in this I, movie. Uh, to your point. <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, that's something that they do pretty frequently. Yeah. Um, that out of the way, you gotta fix that shit, Netflix. Uh, this was a fucking amazing movie, man. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. It checked the boxes for me. Like, yeah. I don't know if I was just in the mood or what, yeah. but I'm just like... Because I was prepared. I was prepared. I'm like, okay, this might be funny for a little bit, but then it's going to be kind of stupid. Mm -hmm. But it was good. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. It was fucking, there was definitely some laugh out loud moments in this, in this oh, movie. Oh, yeah. And, and I, I definitely started watching it before things got a little too, we were just drinking at this point. Okay. So it's not, it wasn't just the weed talking. Okay. Yeah. Rick. Rick's going to do his oh, usual. I don't know what the fuck I just watched, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. I thought Rick's going to be like, oh, yeah, you don't like it. Like, like yeah. Again, like, no expectations other than what we saw in the trailer. Mm -hmm. But they showed and did a lot more than I expected. Yeah. <laughs> Hence the hard hard. There was hard. a lot of dick in this, <laughs> in this oh, movie. Oh, my God. Like, I, I want to say I enjoy the movie a lot. Yeah. Like, like you said, compared to Blockers, it's probably way better. This is way better than that. Um, I'm, not, I'm not trying to knock Blockers. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what no, 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 no. I just, yeah. I don't know if, like, again, I don't want to say my, not to cut you off. I don't feel like I was. I'm just jumping in. I don't feel like my expectations were low. Mm -hmm. My expectations were, and I'm like, this is going to be kind of a fun, exciting, like, cool. I got some new it, movie to watch on a Friday on Netflix. Idea. That's a good way to put and it. And then it just, like. It surpassed. Yeah. It totally oh, blew the lid off for me. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it, thing like it just went 
extremely far to the point where I did not expect a lot of the things that happened here. They do a good job of they, uh, right up front going, this is the kind of movie you're watching. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, uh, the trailer was good. It gave you enough... But it, does give, it, it definitely does not give you all of it. It doesn't and I do love the movie that. any yeah. kind of justice. And they imply all. that in the trailer, too. Yeah. Like, well, we're not going to show you all this. Yeah. But. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it's fucking hilarious. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Like, I said, what the fuck, really loud, multiple times. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me mm. a lot of times. I've said all sorts of obscenities, too. Because, yeah. like, I don't know what the fuck I was watching, but yeah. I was having a good time watching it. Yeah, it was just and, fun to watch. Oh, my God. The so fucking you, rattlesnake, man. Oh, <laughs> you guys talked about your expectations, and I forgot to mention that. So, my expectations were way higher than your guys'. Okay. When we watched the trailer, I was like, I'm fucking all in. Yeah. And when I started, I was, this is going to be fucking awesome. Because I even said it then, like, I'm glad that this this raunchy teen comedy is making a comeback, even mm-hmm. if it's just on Netflix. But I feel like they got around that with blockers where it was more about the adults than the kids. Yeah. But it, that was definitely more of what I'm talking about with the raunchy teen comedy thing. Um, and this completely surpassed my expectations. That's awesome. And I had high expectations yeah. for it. yeah. But yeah, yeah, that, like I look, I was going in optimistic, <laughs> but there's just don't, there's that little part of me that just thinks like, well, yeah, you know, and it's kind of because Netflix, as well as they've done with original series, their movies haven't been met with very much praise. Yeah, and then so that's why I was kind of like, oh well, I don't know. And then there was that other movie that was original that you and I watched. What the fuck was it? Was it Halloween themed? Like the bait? Was it called the oh, Babysitter? The babysitter. The babysitter yeah. yeah, which. I enjoyed that, but like as I was watching that, there was a lot more. Man, this is so stupid. While yeah. I was laughing, which while watching the package, it? it was like that too. But for me, like this blew the babysitter out of the water, and I enjoyed uh, the babysitter. That whole scene in the in the watchtower with the fucking rattlesnake and wow, wow, yeah, fucking wow, yeah. Uh, also the scene at the toilet towards the end. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, God. I know. <laughs> There you is so gotta, much I said to myself, movie. Yeah, there, I'm not going to say it. There's just <laughs> yeah. so much penis in this movie. Yeah. And the whole time, like, and this is a super predictable movie. Because right away, Alexis and I look at each other and go, I get one on cooler. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then... Uh, for, for those tropes, yeah, it was yes. predictable. But right. the situations were unpredictable. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff where, yeah, you could, like, I mean, I... I didn't, well, you already kind of said, I guess a little bit spoiled, I'm like, man, he's going to fucking be bobbing for dick, isn't he? That part that you're talking about, like, I was like, that's, it. that's exactly what happened. It was, I think what happened is there is predictability in the movie, but you, you'd you have like the, the light bulb would, would tick off and right then like, oh, oh I can't wait that's going to happen. This. Yeah, exactly. That's what I, it was. I, um, and I'll bring it up because it's a franchise that I feel like was the last to do it. Like the American Pie franchise yeah. had like this raunchy, like the first two specifically. Yeah. And then when the third one came around, I straight up said, you know, if Stifler doesn't eat shit, I want my money back. And then sure enough, he eats shit right. in that movie. And it's like literally eats shit in the movie. Um, <laughs> and it's one of those things where like I feel like people don't like going that far anymore. And this was definitely one of those things where it's been a long time since people have gone that far. Mm-hmm. And this took that and was like, oh, we're going to go even farther yeah. than this. Um, the Boy, Toy Story 2-esque scene of cleaning. Like, I like the music and I, I like, oh, this is like that fucking scene in Toy Story where he's <laughs> fixing up Woody. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Holy uh, shit. Yeah, That's it's, true. fuck, man, this movie was so funny. And I think... Y'all should watch it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it is really funny, man. And I gotta say, the lead girl, I fucking, I love her. She oh, was from, great in Blockers. From blockers, yeah, she and was good. That's the thing that made me want to watch this movie the most was seeing her in the trailer. Yeah. And she's fucking amazing, man. Yeah, I thought everybody was really good in it. Yes, like they, they were. really were. I mean, because it, it could have easily been one of those movies where the acting could have been really cheesy and yeah. bad, but like, no, I believed all of it. Yeah, I really did. So. I don't know. The package came and the package delivered, man. <laughs> it arrived on time. 
Overnight delivery. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the fucking nurse was the sleeper of that movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the nurse was pretty funny. <laughs> the flowered bed. <laughs> yeah. like, the but, fucking angry girlfriend. I'm just like, when she's going crazy, I'm like, oh, God, did she really do that again? <laughs> God, and the fucking douchebag ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, my God. But, yeah, I, I really, I, really like the movie a lot. I found myself, too, like, it lists two times in the show where you're like, when is Bryson going to the voice of reason? But when he's going up high and making the, trying to get reception and yeah. stuff, and then the ex starts yeah. texting, and he's like, he's going to text. I'm like, don't, don't do fucking it. send don't that text it. to yeah, me. Yeah, don't do like it. Like that, just don't send that text. And then he did it. I'm like, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> But yeah, like so fast, the movie made me care about. It. And I think it was that opening, like that yeah. opening scene where it's like it's gonna be this kind of movie. I was just like, all right, I was in. Uh, you gotta protect your. I don't know how. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was good. Man. Yeah, like, I loved it. Man. Like I'd watch that movie again. Yeah. Same like, here. I, yeah, I don't know when I will, but I'm yeah. totally like. There was a part where I think maybe I looked down for a second and I missed something, and I'm like, oh fuck, that'll be for the next time I watch it. Yeah. You know. 